and welcome to the BS Review Annual Movie Marathon Extravaganza. So we've been doing this for a few years, but this is going to be the first year we record it and put it on the mm -hmm. YouTube channel. So. so every year we pick a series and we watch all of them or like an anthology or yeah, all in one day we sit down and do it. So in past years, we've already done Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Jurassic Park. I cannot for the life of me remember what we did last year. <laughs> I can't remember the last year. Was it Mission Impossible? Oh, it oh, was. Mission Impossible. So, this year, we are doing not technically a series, <laughs> but they're so close. They're so related. So, we're doing the Studio Ghibli Miyazaki films. Now, we're not doing all of them. We are doing a selection of them because it's too damn many to do in one day. <laughs> so, the rule of the marathon is that it has to have at least three movies. So, you can't do a duology or something like that. So, you have to have three or more. Um, so, for this, we are doing four movies. We are doing My Neighbor Totoro, Kiki's Delivery Service, Spirited Away, and Princess Mononoke. And so, we are hyped now. Brittany has not seen a lot of these movies. No, I have only seen My Neighbor Totoro, and it is like one of my favorite childhood movies. I have not seen any of the other ones. <laughs> and I've I've seen all of them, but I don't remember for the life of me any of any of them except for Princess Mononoke. So we're excited. These films are beautiful, and we were originally going to do something else, and then we were talking about it, and I was like, this sounds perfect. We have to do this. So not only do we do the movies all in one day, we also do theme snacks for all of them. So we will be showing you guys that in this video. Uh, we have a themed snack and or drink for each movie, and we'll go over that in just a little bit. So join us, and we'll give you guys our thoughts on all these movies after we watch them. All right, guys, this is our snack to go with uh, My Neighbor Totoro, and these are the, like, soot sprites or what was soot, soot gremlins. gremlins yeah that are in it so we did a oreo ball which i don't do dairy so we did this with a vegan cream cheese the dia brand and we're going to link all these recipes or instructions down below if you want to check them out but we just did regular oreo balls just made them vegan and then we rolled them in some melted chocolate and then also rolled them in some chocolate sprinkles to give the like fuzzy effect of the soot sprites and then we put little eyes on them with some frosting and more sprinkles Okay, so we are done with movie number one in our marathon. You will have already seen the footage of the snack that we had to go along with it, which we did the Oreo balls uh, covered with, like, chocolate sprinkles to make them look like the little soot sprites or little whatever you want to call them. Soot gremlins. Soot gremlins, soot sprites. <laughs> They're called multiple things in the different versions. So let's talk about this because there are <laughs> things. Oh, yeah. Um, so we got a version of this and started watching it, and I'm sitting there being like, this does not seem the same <laughs> as what I watched as a child. So we started looking it up and it turns out there are two English dub versions. So there's a 1993 version from 20th Century Fox and a 2005 version from Disney. And the more popular one or more, I guess, well distributed one nowadays is the 2005 Disney yeah, one because Disney. they don't distribute the Fox one anymore. It's <laughs> like not in production. Like they, you can't find them unless you go on eBay and get it for a yeah. hundred dollars. So after some research that Steven did, yeah, we ended up finding a copy of it, and so at about 25 minutes into the movie, we switched from the Disney version to the Fox, and I do think the Fox dubbed version was far better, because... And the internet seems to agree with us. Yeah, because the Disney version, they tend to scream a lot, um... And, and it's, just... it's not that the voice acting is bad in the Disney version, it's just, I don't know, it's... It doesn't invoke the same <laughs> things. I don't quite know how to explain it. It but doesn't have the magic. Maybe. So <laughs> the Disney version has like Dakota and Elle Fanning playing the sisters, stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just, the original is just better. Well, the original English is better. <laughs> so. But overall, Brittany loves this movie. I do. I enjoyed this movie. I didn't remember anything about it. But, so I enjoyed it. I think I will like some of the other ones more. Oh, we'll see. This is also, I think, the oldest one out of the four This is the oldest one. Yes. So, so we'll continue watching and we'll let you know how Totoro stacks up to the others, too. I mean, it held up to my childhood memories. <laughs> Good. So I still really enjoy it. Well, we were mentioning, or I was mentioning as we watched this, this hits all of my like small animal creature type things who make funny noises. It's like my thing. I love it. <laughs> so it's good. And so I think the next one we're going to watch is... Which one are we doing next? Kiki's Delivery Service? Sure, which we have a snack to go along with that too. 
All right, so we'll show you guys the snack, and we will let you know what we think when we're done. All right, guys, for Kiki's delivery service, we did something really simple. All you do is take stick pretzels, and you stick them in the bottom of peanut butter cups, and you get brooms. It's perfect. you got to use mini peanut butter cups to make this work, <laughs> in my opinion. That's true. I don't think it'll work with the big ones. Plus, it won't look like a broom, but these look great. All right, so we just finished Kiki's delivery service, and it was it was pretty good. It was good. It wasn't my favorite so far. <laughs> I mean, I have nostalgia for Totoro, and I liked it. I think I liked the first half of the movie way more than the second half. I would agree. I felt like it established a lot more, and then the second half, not a whole lot happened besides, like, the final climax scene. Overall, it was pretty good. I thought I liked it more than Totoro. <gasps> but I don't have the nostalgia factor for Totoro, so it was pretty good. We're about to start Spirited Away, so we're going to jump in and see what that's all about we do have the cool little onajiri like rice balls oh, well, for spirited for away for kiki's we did the little broomstick things which we will have inserted video of before this and then yeah we're gonna do the whatever those are called yeah the onajiri which is the little rice balls for mm -hmm. this one should be pretty cool our cat is sleeping right up there <laughs> Wait, come on, go. it's right there there <laughs> and so we'll let you know what we think all right, guys, so to celebrate watching Spirited Away, we made some delicious ramen, and we made this onajiri that we mentioned earlier, which is these rice balls with uh, sesame seeds and some soy sauce. So yeah, this food looks delicious. All right, so we just finished Spirited Away, and what did you think? I actually really like this one. This is like my favorite so far. I like Totoro has the nostalgia, like I've mentioned like three times, but this was like a good new watch. I agree. I didn't remember anything from this movie, and I really liked it. I enjoyed everything about it. Yeah, I really liked all the kooky characters, and just, it was very, like, Alice in Wonderland, but, like, Japanese style. <laughs> it's kind of how I feel. Yeah, it was awesome, and I felt like it had a good story and good pacing. It's my favorite so far out of the ones we've watched. But you said that you think your favorite is Princess Mononoke, which is next. That's so true. We'll I do like that one, so we and, shall see. Yeah, and for this one we did the ramen and rice bowls, which you will have seen already. And they were really good. I'm. We should make those rice bowls more often because. Yeah, they turned out. So I'll put the re the recipe will be in the description, but they were really good. So I think the secret was that like seasoning stuff that you got. What is it called? Um. Burikake? Something. It'll be listed below. <laughs> so, onwards to Princess Mononoke. So, onwards to our final movie. Alright, guys. So, this is our drink associated with Princess Mononoke. We did an alcoholic peppermint uh, white chocolate liqueur kind of drink. And we garnished it with some actual candy canes and a candy cane rim. So it's all pepperminty. And the reason we did this is because Princess Mononoke has the white, like, wolf type thing that she rides. And then she's got the red, uh, like, war paint. So we thought this would be a good representation of that. Plus it's Christmas, so we wanted to be festive with something uh, wintry. Yeah, double theme. All right, guys. So it has actually been a few days since we finished our movie marathon. And we finished Princess Mononoke was our last movie. And... I enjoyed watching it again. Well, you've seen it before. I have not. <laughs> so, um, what did you think as a rewatch? I thought that I enjoyed it less than I did the last time. It wasn't as good as I remembered, but it was still good. I think coming off of Spirited Away is what like weakened it the most for me. Cause... So this one is the most different out of the four we watched. Like I feel like the first three have like a kind of cohesive art style and like vibe but princess mononoke is a lot darker the art style is very different um it's a lot more like adult than children focused yeah like there's arms getting and heads getting like lopped off and blood flying everywhere it wasn't my favorite however i understand and respect that there's a total cult following for it so <laughs> i get it you're allowed to like it i just i don't know maybe it would take a rewatch or two or something I'm not sure. Yeah, I do feel like that movie takes a little bit more commitment than some of the others. Like, emotional commitment. You, like, you have to be get involved in the story. Otherwise, it kind of falls flat a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I really enjoyed it, and 
I think our marathon was pretty successful. How did you feel about the drink that went along with the Princess Monroe? Oh, it was strong, guys. It was very strong. <laughs> we'll put the link in the description, but warning, it's literally all liquor. So just be warned that it is strong, and it tastes like it, too. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, our marathon is over. We do these every year. We'll do another one next year if you have uh, series recommendations. Go ahead and leave them below. Yeah, we've like we said, I think we listed off the ones we did earlier. But, I don't remember. But we do it every year, and we select a new series. And so thank you for joining us yeah. on this one. This is our first time actually like vlogging and doing yeah, stuff with it. Yeah, I hope it, you so. enjoyed this like chill kind of video style. I don't know, maybe you hated it. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> um, sometimes we like to do the more chill, laid-back, non-studio lights setup. But either way, let us know what you guys thought of this video. Leave us a like down below if you enjoyed it. And if you want to check out some of our other videos, we'll have them up right over there. Also, oh. if we end up doing a part two to this Studio Ghibli Miyazaki film extravaganza, let us know what your picks are besides the four that we watched. Definitely, and we'll see you next time. Bye!